We are tracking barrel as it comes near a shore near Matagorda this morning. That's right, and our meteorologist Justin Horn and photojournalist Matthew Craig have been there all night. And Justin, looking at the live stream from overnight, we had some pretty intense winds and a storm surge. Yeah, we sure did. Uh, it was busy overnight, that's for sure. We've been in the eye for the better part of an hour, actually a little bit more than that. Now we're starting to get the southern edge of the storm. So we're going to start to get some north winds and northwesterly winds here on the backside. Uh, but before that eye came through, we hit the eye wall and it was it was rough. We got some pretty good wind gusts, probably upwards of 80 to 90 miles per hour and some pretty good storm surge. Behind this is uh, from the storm surge it's it's something it's kind of hard to see because it is so dark out here we don't have power in a lot of spots uh, but we're noticing some damage here and there some tree limbs uh, and those sort of things and certainly the sunrise will a lot more but as I said uh, last night was busy and I want to show you what it looked like as barrel came through it's just about 1140 here in Matagorda and just about 30 minutes ago barrel was upgraded to a hurricane and now we're starting to see one of the heavier rain bands come through. Winds have definitely picked up. I think we're seeing tropical storm force winds uh, pretty much sustained here in Matagorda. We've noticed some water starting to come over the road in spots. It's just past midnight and we're starting to really feel the effects of Beryl as she's coming on shore. Take a look at the storm surge that's starting to come up over this road. Now it's a low-lying road, but it's these kind of roads that can get very dangerous in a storm like this. Winds are going to uh, continue to pick up as that eye wall is just about 30 miles offshore. It's about 1.15 and we're inside the storm chaser this go round because if you look outside, it is blinding rain. This truly is the heaviest part of the storm. And I'm sitting here looking at radar and that eye wall is just about to be here. Well, the eye wall's here, the eye itself is just about to be here. And uh, it's gonna be a close call as to whether or not that eye moves over us, but if it does, we should get a brief calming of the winds. It took longer than expected, but we are finally in the eye of Hurricane Barrow. In fact, skies are clearing somewhat up above us and the winds have let up, the rain has let up, and we'll get a break in the action for at least a little bit. But what I wanna show you here is uh, back behind me, where you see all those cars gathered. That is where the storm surge has come up to, and it came up quickly. This is Beach Road, and the water is completely covering the road at this point. A pretty dangerous situation as that storm surge rose very quickly. We are in the town of Matagorda, and if you look back here over my shoulder, you probably can't see much. It's dark back there. Uh, power is out to much of the town, we think. You're not seeing many lights, at least. And I'll turn your attention this way. You can see some of the floodwaters, whether it be from storm surge or heavy rain. Uh, a lot of the streets here are flooded. You can see that yield sign too, underwater. And we noticed a few houses perhaps uh, taking on a little bit of water. Uh, so that is the latest from here in Matagorda. And we think uh, we should see a lot of improvement as Barrel starts to move north by sunrise.